Ahem. So I have a confession to tell you guys. I think about this Call of Duty almost every single day. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Went back to this game, I think, like, maybe, like, last month. And since, like, Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is in this period where it's just, like, super dry and a lot of people are not even, like, playing the games anymore, it gives me inspiration to go back to these older Call of Duty games. It still is just so much fun to go back to, and I, I actually really did enjoy it. Bro, some of these guns are just absolutely insane. I think we all know Treyarch just always kills it with the content. And I knew Black Ops Cold War was going to be one of those games where a lot of people didn't enjoy it in its prime, but I feel like a lot of people can now appreciate it after playing Modern Warfare 2. I think Dismo is going back to Cold War to complete the 100% challenge in multiplayer. If this video reaches 5,000 likes, I will go back to play Black Ops Cold War and do 100% and complete all the multiplayer challenges. But before we get into today's video, um, I, I need to pay the bills. I need to tell you about an app that I've been using. This app is called Z League, and it's the perfect app for gamers, and here's why. First off, it's a social network, but just for gaming stuff. You see so many people sharing their awesome clips, their gaming memes, their loadouts and class setups, and so much more. And the best part is, you don't have to see all of that other BS that you always see on the other social media apps. Second, they have so many tournaments that you can get involved into and win prizes, or just play for free to have fun. The app even has a store where you can trade in all the coins that you get from tournaments and daily loot boxes and buy gaming headsets and even controllers. Lastly, my favorite feature on the app is LFG. And I know there's so many people out there who really struggle to find teammates and just people to play with on a daily basis. You can filter your interests, your age, your skill, your region, whether you have a microphone or not, and invite people to play. Also, check out my profile. You can have so many different banners, put in an avatar, and even have all of your gaming stats in just one place. So what are you waiting for? Download the app, follow my page, and if you use LFG, maybe we can play together soon. Okay, it actually feels really good to be back on Nuketown. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, my shot is, is kind of still on. But like I said, I feel like a lot of people just didn't like this Call of Duty in its prime. And that's kind of fair to say, honestly. This game was by and by no means perfect. Like, honestly, this, this game had its fair share. Please hit someone. Please, please, please. Okay, so yeah, this game had its fair share of issues 1,000%. And honestly, I think Modern Warfare 2 even, like, I don't know, looks better than this game. This game had a way more, like, cartoony, like, arcade style to it. It was definitely unique. I like a lot of things in Modern Warfare 2 too, but I also like a lot of things in this game. They just have different feels, and it's really hard to kind of compare Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops Cold War. Like I said, if you guys are not a fan of, like, the whole arcade -y type style like Black Ops Cold War, then you're, you're really just not gonna like this at all. Thank you. I will say, though, the content in Black Ops Cold War was miles ahead of Modern Warfare 2. This game had reactive camos. This game had Mastercraft. This game had a lot of freaking good content, man. It's actually insane, and it kind of makes me sad that we're not really seeing, like, any of this in Modern Warfare 2, like, at all. Like, there are legitimately no Mastercrafts or no reactive camos or anything like that in MW2. The best content we have in Modern Warfare 2 is, like, just tracer packs, but even then, it's like, those are not really that cool. They kind of get boring after a while. They're just shooting colorful bullets, you know what I mean? Like, I do really 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 hope that uh modern warfare 2 starts turning up with the content though maybe brings in master crafts brings in reactive camos i don't know but yeah let me know in the comment section what do you guys prefer black ops cold war or modern warfare 2 goodbye goodbye got him got him got him got him fancy where are these guys at this guy's right here oh my god the war machine was so op in this game i'm pretty sure this guy's up here oh my god this guy said, bro, chill out. I'm not gonna stop, buddy. I'm not gonna stop, buddy. Oh, they They had a trophy system? What are we playing? Competitive ranked? What the? It's not getting funny. Oh, that's the game. Let's go. Yo, why are you so mad, bro? Yo, why are you so mad, bro? Yo, that kid on the other team was really upset. Also, I feel like this game had such an amazing, like, selection of weapons. It had its new weapons. You know, we had the FAR-83, we had the C-58, we had the EM-2. Weapons that we really just never seen before. Then we had some throwback weapons as well, like the Grav, which is the Galil. The MAC-10 comeback, which was really cool. The PPSH. We had the UGR, which was literally an underwater rifle, and it shoots steel darts. So, you have everything. I remember a lot of these guns in Warzone 1 were very OP. Even though this game had its fair share of issues, you know, when it was like the most recent Call of Duty game out when it was in its prime. I still really appreciate it for sure. Uh, they also made this game during a freaking worldwide pandemic. So that's something to take into consideration. And we were supposed to be getting a Treyarch game this year for 2023, but we're not. So it's nice that Treyarch is actually going to have a lot more time to create their next Call of Duty game. And that that's going to be amazing. Every game these people have these trophy systems. 
It's crazy. Got the harp? Okay. At least we can throw up the harp, though. Like, at least we can use that. Get that going type of stuff, you know? Like, at least that's good. Forgot how good the LC-10 is, bro. Like, I actually forgot just how good this thing is. Okay, there we go. There we go. In the back. Wait. On a 17 right now? Oh my god. What? Yo. These guys are actually ruthless. Like, legitimately ruthless. I'm like an 18 kill streak right now, but I've just- I have no idea where to go. Like, genuine- I have no idea where to go. Forgot how competitive, like, Black Ops Cold War could actually be, bro. Like, it, it is pretty wild. I think everyone left on the other team. Because more people are now joining. Well, I'm on a 20. I'm going to peek this middle like a freaking idiot. And I actually got a kill. Wow. Okay. Let's maybe put this down over here on this, this right side. Maybe see if anyone's pushing up. Oh, someone on my team got a rolling thunder. Okay. This guy's actually pushing up full. Got him. All right. Got a war machine. Got a UAV. Hello. Thank you. Oh, my God. What the? Oh. Got him. Use this harp. 26. Okay, let's go. I'm on a 27. 28. We're so close to this freaking nuke. Let's go. Anyone behind me? Oh. Okay. Oh, he's in the corner. Okay, we got the freaking nuke. <laughs> Why was that the most stressful nuke? I actually don't think the nuke ends the game. There's the tactical nuke, man. This is the first Treyarch game to have a tactical nuke and a callable nuke, which is actually crazy. Let's call him this nuke, man. Let, let's call it it. I feel like Black Ops Cold War was actually a really underrated Call of Duty game, and I feel like a lot more people are going to appreciate the game now with Modern Warfare 2 out, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think this game has a special place in my heart. I'm almost positive that this nuke was actually like a temporary thing. And Treyarch only kept it in because the community wanted it that badly, which I know is crazy, but I'm pretty sure this thing was a temporary, you know, addition. Also, you can see the nuke on the map and it just stays there, which I thought was a great addition. But yeah, I think they introduced the nuke with the whole like Rambo type of deal with like Die Hard, John McClane, and uh, Rambo. Uh, I think that's when they, you know, kind of released it. And you could only get the nuke in one game mode. I'm pretty sure it was only available in one limited time mode. I think it was like you had to get a kill, you know, before 30 seconds or you just like exploded. I forget the whole game mode or and stuff like that. But when people found out that it was only like a limited time thing, community spoke and Treyarch listened. The community wanted the nuke to just stay in the game. It really didn't hurt anything. And it kind of just made things, you know, a lot better in Black Ops Cold War and especially in multiplayer because going for, you know, a 30 kill streak just to get a nuclear medal isn't really that special. You know what I mean? I feel like players love to work towards getting like a 30 kill streak and dropping a tactical nuke on the enemy team it's just an awesome like sign of like you know what i just did that you know what i mean like now now you have to see i feel like black ops cold war actually brought a really good amount of maps back too that was one of the main things that i love they brought back raid they brought back standoff they brought back slums they had a lot of throwback fan favorites even hijacked as well express i always thought they were gonna bring back like firing range and summit and stuff like that because they brought back jungle they had a lot of like amazing throwback maps and it was was cool man like it was cool the throwback maps actually played like very well in black ops cold war they said black ops cold war you could slide cancel which was a really good thing all right so infected is actually in black ops cold war i kind of wanted to play just to you know have some fun i really hope i'm not infected first and we're good oh, oh. okay so we we gotta be careful we honest <laughs> We gotta be careful. I wasn't even expecting that guy. That dude literally could have killed me. I could have been the first person infected. That would have been embarrassing. See him. He's right here. Bro, he's after me. He and fried steak over here just vibing out. Got him. Oh, this dude was freaking behind me. Stop it. I'm actually so mad. Like, I am so... The game had like 10 seconds left, bro. Oh my god, am I the best infected ever? We all gotta throw our tomahawks. We all gotta throw our tomahawks. Come on, come on, come on. Everyone throw them, everyone throw them. Come on, come on. He can't do it, he can't do it. Oh, I, what? thank you. One last guy. Where the hell is he? Oh, you can glide as a freaking zombie. One more dude alive. 
and we lost? Really? Where was the last guy? It was Fried Steak who was the last one. All this time, I could have just chilled with Fried Steak, and I probably would have won the game. So I really wish that Modern Warfare 2 had this UI right here. This is such a simple UI, but it, it looks so good, man. Modern Warfare 2's UI with all those freaking icons, and you have to scroll. It, it, it's just the absolute worst. But like I said, 5,000 likes, and I will 100% multiplayer in Black Ops Cold War. Five long shot headshots using sniper rifles or tactical rifles. That's pretty easy. 50 backfire medals. Okay, that could take some time. 50 kills using vehicle, mounted, or stationary turrets. What the hell? Either way, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.